always thrilling to be backstage and before I come on. And I'll never forget when Mrs. Dumal took us to Sacramento to see the symphony. It was the first time I'd ever seen the symphony. Or was in a big theater with, with uh, beautiful curtains like this. It was just the right color, the same color as in that house. And so thank you for being here today. As you know, this concert's dedicated to raising money for Rosendo Rojas, a young fellow who uh, has embraced music since I first met him in third grade and have had the great honor and joy of knowing him all these years. And I am so grateful that all of you are here to join us for this very special and important concert. We'll be playing, starting with the Star Spangled Banner, and the great tradition of brass bands across the United States. So if you stand. Thank you. 
Gustav Holst is one of my very favorite composers. And a few years ago, we did his first suite for military band in E flat. And tonight, or this afternoon rather, we're doing his second suite in the key of F. It's very challenging, it's been exciting, um, it's a great big reach, and I just hope you enjoy it as much as I've enjoyed having the honor of teaching it, conducting it, and the great work these people have done on it. So this is Holst Suite in F.
Christians always must be commended. Yeah. Um, you should have seen the rehearsal for that. <laughs> it's much calmer now. Let's see. One of my very dearest friends and uh, fellow brass players, Larry Mangili, is going to um, be the soloist on this wonderful piece called Stardust. We played it this summer and I just had to bring it back for this concert. And I hope you enjoy his fine playing as much as I do, hearing him week after week, year after year. <coughs>
Ernesto Cunha is a 20th century um, composer and wrote all kinds of all kinds of music that we all know, and right now I can't think of one of those songs. <laughs> and um, this is called San Francisco El Grande, and it's kind of a short, interesting little concert piece that he wrote, and I find it uh, fascinating, and we hope you enjoy it. Wasn't Larry wonderful? Let's give him another hand. <laughs> Thank you. 
all these notes that are so tight that they kind of drag on you, and that's so beautiful, you know? We're going to play a swing piece, a jazz piece. Um, and while we're doing that, you'd be so kind to bring up the house lights. You'd be so kind to bring up the house lights. There we go. I know I'm talking into this thing, so we're in good shape. Um, I know some of you've already made some donations, but we're going to be bringing a couple of baskets around. I need a couple of young folks. People who don't think I'm going to call on them. There's one right there. I'll take two of them right there. I'll take those two right there. Come on, you guys. You're bad people. Okay. Come on up here. Come on. I'm not going to do anything. Not anything I wouldn't do when you're here for the summertime. Anyway. You take a basket. Your sister takes a basket. Um. This is our uh, donation time. The band is covering all the costs. Every penny that comes in today will go to help Rosendo. Um, and while you are all making donations, I hope you enjoy Way Down Yonder in New Orleans. So, uh, oh, good, some people know that song. That's outstanding. Um, I know that Karen wants me to let you know how incredibly grateful she is, how touched she was, um, and, I, I, uh, I wrote Rosendo and told him that we were doing this concert, and as always with him, and as he's been in all the years I've known him, it's been, I said, you know, it's about how we love you, and it's all about love, and he said, and love is all about music, and that's what I'm about. And so he would have loved to play something like this. He would have loved to have been the honky horn, I think, in the <laughs> other piece. Um, so without me talking anymore, we'll jump right into Way Down the Yonder.
Thank you so much. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, it's amazing what we can all do when we put our minds to it. They often say that we can't do a piece because we don't quite have enough instruments up here, but we just invent things and we get through them. And um, it is with great joy that I have the next two people come up and we're gonna do, a, they're gonna play a duet for you. It's not quite cold enough out there yet. We tried, I tried to order in a little snow for today. Um, we're just lucky that I kept track of time, because I have trouble with time. That's what happens when you fall on your head. So, this is Baby It's Cold Outside. It's a duet with our wonderful, uh, I'm starting to sound like, what's that fellow's name? Uh, Lawrence Welk. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Don Galleron. On euphonium. That is a beautiful horn, by the way. And also, yes it is, might as well applaud for the horn. <laughs> and the delightful and extremely athletic uh, Nancy Burton on trumpet. Uh, she came back from Tibet for this concert. Well, she really did go to Tibet, just not yesterday. And uh, she bicycles hundreds of miles and skis and does all those kinds of wonderful things. Clap for her mom's horn. Clap for her mom's horn for <laughs> 80 year old horn, maybe? 70? 1938. It's an old horn. Wow. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this. And then we're going to be closing with a march. And if you're brave enough to hear something else from us, you'll yell encore. <laughs> and uh, on the behalf of the band, I want to thank you for another great season. It's the end of our 14th season with me here. This band's been in place. <laughs> or meager years compared to the 130 plus years that this band has been in place in this county uh, wow. under one name or another under continuous play. Are we ready?
you enjoy watching and post. And after that, that's all they wrote for the day. <laughs> Thank you so much for being a gracious and wonderful audience. Be safe going home and enjoy the rest of the week.
grow brain tumors, brain cancer tumors better than my current tumors. For those of you who do know Rosendo, you wouldn't recognize him today. In five months, he's lost over 90 pounds and says that he's never felt as physically fit as he does now. Although he's outside the AMA standard of care, he's been getting advice from across the country and around the world and is undergoing some pretty heavy duty therapies with a natural path of more North. This synergistic entourage is empowering him. His doctors in Portland are amazed and pleased with his progress with the diet and the other things that he is trying to do for himself. What he is doing is could very well help others like him and make a difference in many other lives. Every day, Papa and I are so amazed by his sensitivity, his wisdom, his humor, his bravery, his love of life, and his will to live. Keep him in your thoughts and prayers. There's a card in the lobby for everyone to sign. Papa has found studies showing that more cancer patients survive when they are surrounded by love. I've put some photos with his info in the back of the lobby. As long as you all don't do it simultaneously, please text, email, or call us. All of your encouragement and support and hopefulness will let him know how much he is loved by all of us. For those of you who do know Rosendo, you very well know that music is Rosendo and Rosendo is music. Thank you to men and the Calaveras Community Band. Thank you so much for all your incredible work and generosity. Thank you.